Hey guys, it's Monica. I wanted to do a very quick, because it's actually very small, what's in my trash this month, and I should say in May. So I've had a couple of things that I have repurchased and I want to talk about that. And I've had some products that have been sent to me that I'm absolutely loving and I want to talk about that as well. So before I begin, if you're interested in some of the products that I've been loving in May and June, stay tuned. But before I go there, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I upload maybe twice a week. Sometimes I do lifestyle vlogging, other times I do reviews, every now and then I do a little bit of real estate. I truly, truly appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching the video, liking it, and leaving me a comment. I am going to give you an update on my eyelashes first. Most of you know that I was sent this eyelash serum called Blink. And I was a CarePost user. I ran out of CarePost. I decided to try another couple of products. I've been experimenting with that. This company sent me some a Blink, and I've talked about this. I've actually started to use this serum on my birthday, February 14th, 2018. I've actually noticed that my natural lashes have gotten darker. I was really surprised at that. So this has given me a darker natural lash. Also, my lashes are growing. So when your lashes grow super long, you have to trim them. At least I do. So my lashes have been growing really long to the point when I put my mascara on, you know, they bend this way or that way. They're just too long. So I try to trim them down. And I found that since I've been using this, I've had a good amount of regrowth. Does it work as good as CarePost? I think it does. It may even work better on my lashes because it's given me darker lashes. So I'm really happy with this. They did send me several bottles and I have used them and I still have some to use. And recently I said to them, I would love to do a giveaway. And they said, you know what? We will send you five bottles and you can do a giveaway. So I'm going to give away three of these to one of you if you're interested. The rule is very simple. You have to be subscribed to my channel, you have to like my video, and you have to leave me a comment saying you want to try the Blink. And then I'm going to use Random Picker, and when Random Picker, if you don't know how that works, when Random Picker goes through and selects someone, it shows whether they've liked the video, whether they've left a comment, etc. And so that is how I'm going to choose random picker. If you haven't liked it, it'll be eliminated. So that's how it's going to be chosen by random picker, the person who is going to win three of these if you want them. Again, to want them, you have to say you want to try them. And this will be open internationally. I will ship it to you. I don't know anything about customs or anything of that nature, but I will definitely ship this to you internationally. And if you want to give it a try, I am not an expert at any of this, but I have been super, super pleased with this. Some of you will know that I was also sent Grandy Lash Eyelash Serum MD from the Octoly Network from Grandy Lash, and that I had said that it would probably be a fairer comparison to have my sister try it. So my sister, and I've got some before pictures, I'm not ready to do the after yet because it hasn't been long enough, she's gonna give that a whirl. So that, that I'm really super excited about. So that's the eyelashes, it is a contest. I am, because it's a contest, I'm not gonna reply to comments. I will heart your comment, but I'm not gonna be able to reply to comments because of the contest for the eyelash serum. The other thing I want to um, talk about is a little bit of my trash. So many of you know I'm a creature of habit. I find something I like, I tend to stick with it unless I have a solid, solid reason as to why I shouldn't, or maybe there is something truly that is better and better. But if I am like 95% satisfied with a product, I tend to not shop around and shop around. I am frugal in many ways, although it's not, not my husband probably wouldn't agree with that, but we're not gonna ask him. But I really am in many ways. So the first thing I wanna mention is this Studio 35 Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I've mentioned that I put this on in the morning, almost every single morning I put this on. I let it set up on my skin, maybe, 
half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, maybe even longer some mornings. And then I take a gentle, usually I use one of my exfoliating gloves, a really good worn one, and then I kind of exfoliate it off my skin and then I wash my face and do my regular serums. So I've been doing this every morning. This tube has lasted me at least a good year. It really has. Now, I've only been doing the everyday routine probably for about the last four months, so I'm almost out. So, of course, I had to go. <laughs> and the, they have always, Walgreens always has, I get my Studio 35 at Walgreens, and they always have specials. Sometimes it's buy one, get the other half off. Sometimes it's buy one, buy two, get one free. So I took advantage of the special. I figure it's not gonna go bad. I'm using this every day now. I'm gonna put one in the motorhome. I'm gonna have one in the house. This one's trash, and, and so I'll have the two that I'm working on. They are roughly, when they're not on sale, just so you know, about 11 bucks, 10 something at Walgreens. Then if you have coupons or you know the Walgreens rewards card, they can be even a little bit less expensive. So I am loving this. For me, it's an everyday event that I put on my skin. Again, that's my skin. So the other thing I want to mention, and I have to laugh at this because I am by no means, no means a vagina expert. That doesn't sound good. I'll probably get demonetized. But I am by no means a vagina expert. The only claim to fame I have on knowing anything about a vagina is that I happen to have one and I've had one all my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't even know how long ago it was. I really don't. It was quite a while ago. I was watching Tammy from Uppy Beats, one of her trash videos or a video, and she first mentioned this this called this product called sweet spots sweet spot i kind of thought hmm and she was talking about how she really likes to use the wash and how it makes her feel i think better so for me this this wash is like it's a gentle it is if you have super sensitive area down there and you need to have something that is gonna restore or keep your pH balance because even down there, your pH balance can get out of whack. And if that happens, you'll be drier, you'll be itchier, you'll be uncomfortable. So having a wash and even a, and Tammy didn't mention these, but even a wipe, if you are a wipe user, that is gentle, that is gynecologist approved, that restores your pH balance or doesn't destroy your pH balance. I think it's awesome. So Tammy from Uppy Speeds first talked about this product. She got hers at Target. My Target didn't sell it. I couldn't find it, so I got mine on Amazon. And I've rebought this, and I, and I love the wipes. I don't know if she's using the wipes or not, but I bought a three pack of wipes. I'm all out. I really, really enjoy it. now. I shouldn't say enjoy it. That kind of sounds really weird. You enjoy wiping. But yeah, you know, it has a, um, a vanilla, a gentle vanilla fragrance. And I happen to like vanilla. So maybe if you don't, maybe you don't want to use it. But if you are at all a little dry, and I'm not saying it's going to do anything for internal dryness, as some of you know, women do suffer from. But if you're at all dry, if you're at all, if you get irritated, and you just want a soothing wipe, this is awesome. So when Jay and I go on our trip to Canada, I'm definitely packing this stuff. I just feel so much more, I don't know, comfortable after I use this. I really do. I think it's great. So I have to, I have to thank Tammy from Tammy from Uppy Beads because I really, really am enjoying this product and I would never have known about it without her having mentioned it. The other thing, I finished my, my facial cleansing wipes. Um, this, these were sent to me from Morgan Miller, from the Octoly Network, Rosen Chamomile. I really have enjoyed these a lot. I happen to like facial wipes. I um, sometimes use them as the first phase of my cleansing routine 
not all the time. But because I'm a camper, I'm always on the go, I'm always trying to think of ways that I can better clean and better utilize, especially when you're dry camping or, or you're camping in rougher conditions. And these have really come in handy. I took them to Texas. I absolutely love them. I thought they were really nice. They took my makeup off. They did have a slight rosy smell, but I did like that. So that wasn't, that wasn't bad at all for me. The third thing, is that the third thing? Skin Deva had sent this hydrating anti-agent infusion spray. I have the cucumber one. They had reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in trying this. And I said, yeah, sure. So I picked the cucumber. Now they have other, other fragrances um, that you can pick, but I just have the cucumber. That's the only one that I know of. So you can use this in multiple different ways, but I'm going to tell you how I used it this past weekend because we were camping. So we were camping at the beach. I'm out and about running around. It's hot. It's windy. I get sand blown in my face. And sometimes you just need a, a spritz of something to waken you up or to make you look fresher, to make you look more dewy, I guess. I'm not going to say younger, but dewy maybe. I love this stuff. So you can use it as a setting spray if you want, but I was more using it as a touch-up spray. And I don't know if that's what it's intended for, but hydrating anti-aging infusion spray, I really, really like this a lot. I will continue to use it. I don't know how the other fragrance, I think there's a, a violet one. Um, I don't know how they are in compared to the cucumber, but I'm a major cucumber fan. so. This I am loving. And the spray does come on. I'm going to spray it. Oh, Ooh, I'm a little wet now. But it does come on strong, so you should hold it away from your face. And it smells like cucumber. So if this is something that you're not going to like the smell of, you might not want to use it. I also, this week, because, you know, Walgreens, when they have their sales, you cannot beat their sales. So I got some more number seven in wheat. This is my favorite foundation, my favorite color. Now, if this had a higher SPF, and I know I probably sound like a broken record, but if this had a higher SPF, I would be like over the moon. There are probably other foundations that might work just as well on my skin. I don't know. But... If I have to put this next to my It Cosmetics CC Cream, which has been my high-end cream uh, foundation of choice for a while, this beats it for me. I like a lighter coverage. I happen to like a more dewy look. My skin is dry and a lot of foundations mattify on my skin. And when they mattify on my skin, they accent my wrinkles and my pores and they make me look worse. And I don't like that. So I'd rather have my veins pop through, my imperfections pop through, than look like a dried, mattified piece of canvas, I guess. So this, especially the color wheat, and I've tried a couple other colors and they've been a fail. I've had to mix them. But the color wheat seems to have the perfect balance for me. Unfortunately, it's only 15 SPF, but I can deal with that because I do use a regular sunblock. So I picked up more of that. And um, this was buy one, get the other half off. Good, good deal, if you ask me. Really good deal. The other thing I want to mention is this benefit. My glasses on. Is this benefit highlighting concealer? So I, this is in the shade number two. I have the industrial strength benefit. I know that sounds really weird. I have the industrial strength benefit concealer that I really like and I've used it for a while. But recently I picked this up and I think it was Carol from the old Carol show that had talked about this but in a stick. I'm gonna go get the stick guys because I am loving this. Love it. If I love this as much as I love it, I love this as much. Well, anyways, if I, because I love this as much as I love it, I think, that still didn't come out right. I think I'm going to love the stick a lot, a real lot. So I'm going to pick that up. I don't know when, but I'm going to pick it up. I happen to really like this. I think it's really great. And, uh, and I have to give Carol credit for this as well. She turned me on to this mirror. This mirror has been with me ever since I bought it. I really like it. You know, ah. Oh, 
I've had an eyelash. Oh guys, I've had an eyelash hanging down. But anyways, you've got a big huge magnifying on one end and a regular mirror on the other end. It's perfect when you're running around. So I really have to thank Carol for that. And then I received these eyeliner pencils from Pure, P-U-R. And I did, a, I did sort of a first look mini review on them. But I have to tell you, I put this on this morning. This is one of their brown shades. Their charcoal... I'll have to uh, figure out what shade it is. But I... This, this has not worn off my eyes all day. I put this on. I left the house. I left the motorhome this morning. We were camping. I left about quarter past eight. So I probably put this on about 7.30. And I have been going all day long. It, it's still daylight now, but it's quarter of seven at the time I'm filming. And this is not budged. This has really stayed on my eyes all day long. As has my Afterglow. And I talked about this Afterglow um, palette because I am using this an awful lot. A real lot. And this has stayed put all day as well. So my trash might be slim, but the stuff that I've had in my trash, I really, really like. Really like a lot. So that's the scoop, guys. That's my trash picking video. Oh, I'm definitely tired. <laughs> Being silly. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. And remember, if you want to enter my Blink contest and win three bottles of Blink, I should also tell you that each bottle has been lasting me. I just finished one. I started February 14th. And uh, they've been running me two months every single night. I'm probably at the point now where I'm going to drop down two or three times a week. So, and I believe the U.S. cost... It's like $39, I'm not too sure. And I think if you go on the website, you can buy one, get one free, etc. So yeah, you know, that's just, um, I think it's a good deal. For me, it's working. So obviously do your own research like everything else and investigate and decide what works for you, what you want to try and whatever you try. I hope you have as much success with it as I have, especially this stuff. Whoa, thank you, Tammy. Bye, guys.